And so let's get going on telling you about what we're going to launch today, beginning with Apple Watch. Introducing Apple Watch Series 3, and it has cellular built in. You can receive an important call with just your watch, and, and the number is the same number as your iPhone. You don't have to manage a separate number. The apps you rely on, like Messages, just work, and Siri's at your beck and call anytime, anywhere. Cellular is going to change the way we listen to music, because with Apple Watch Series 3 and Apple Music, you can stream 40 million songs on your wrist. So that's Apple Watch Series 3, cellular, GPS, swim proof, 70% faster dual core processor, uh, barometric altimeter, all the features of Watch OS 4, and it still has all day battery life up to 18 hours across a mix of LTE, Bluetooth, and Wi Fi. We have two versions of Series 3. There's one with cellular at $399 and a version without cellular that has all the other great features at just $329. And we're going to keep Series 1 in the line at a new starting price of $249. <laughs> Series 3 cellular will be available in these nine countries with these 14 carriers at launch and six more coming later in the year. And We've worked with each of these carriers, and they each off, have a special introductory offer for Series 3, so it's going to be great. And we, we are offering the, the Series 3 without cellular in these 26 countries at launch. Orders will begin September 15th, and availability will be September 22nd. That's the update on Apple Watch. Apple TV 4K is incredible. And it starts with two big advancements in picture quality. First is 4K. Let me show you. This is an image in 4K. It's got incredible detail. That's possible because 4K has four times the number of pixels as HD. But resolution isn't everything. There's an even bigger advancement that's more important, and it's called high dynamic range, or HDR. While 4K is about the number of pixels, HDR is about better pixels. Let me show you. Here's that same 4K image, and here it is in HDR. Look at the color, the details. Apple TV can do this because it supports the industry standard HDR10, as well as Dolby Vision, the best HDR experience. Now, at the heart of the Apple TV, We've got the powerful A10X Fusion chip. This is the same chip that's in our iPad Pro. And the new Apple TV isn't just slightly faster, it's remarkably faster. CPU performance is more than twice as fast as the current Apple TV, and graphics are more than four times faster. And of course, it runs the latest version of tvOS, the best operating system for the living room. The new Apple TV 4K starts at $179. It joins the existing one. You can order it starting on September 15th, and it ships just a week later. That is the new Apple TV 4K. iPhone 8. iPhone 8. This is a huge step forward for iPhone. I am so excited to tell you all about the new iPhone 8 and the new iPhone 8 Plus. The design is all new. It has glass in both the front and the back. The aluminum band beautifully matches the finish of each iPhone 8. It comes in silver, space gray, and a beautiful new gold finish. And they have a new Retina HD display in each model. There's a 4.7 inch Retina display in iPhone 8 and a 5.5 inch in iPhone 8 Plus. And for the first time in an iPhone display, it is our true tone technology. iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have new stereo speakers as well. They're 25% louder than the speakers in iPhone 7, and they have a deeper bass, too. We call it A11 Bionic. It's a 64-bit design, 4.3 billion transistors, six core. We're going to geek out here for a bit because it is so awesome. It has two high-performance cores. They're 25% faster than the high-performance cores in the previous industry-leading A10 chip. There's four high efficiency cores. They're up to 70% faster than the ones in the A10 chip. 
They're managed by our second generation performance controller that now can use all six cores at once. It can deliver up to 70% improvement in multi-threaded workloads. They have our first ever Apple de design graphics processing unit or GPU. This is a three core design. It's 30% faster than the graphics in the previous A10. Perhaps the most beloved feature of every new generation of iPhone is the cameras. And there's an all new 12 megapixel sensor. It's larger and faster. It provides 83% more light and it provides more, it's more power efficient at the same time. It has deeper pixels and a new color filter. So this adds up to having better color saturation, a wider dynamic range of color, and lower noise in your photos and videos. iPhone 8 Plus has two new sensors in its dual camera. The wide angle camera has an f1.8 aperture and optical image stabilization. The telephoto camera has f2.8 aperture. The team has come up with a new feature called portrait lighting, and here's how it works. When you compose a photo in the camera app using the portrait mode, the dual cameras in the ISP sense the scene. They create a depth map, they separate the subject from the background, and then using machine learning, it creates facial landmarks and actually changes the lighting of the contours over your face. And that happens while you're composing the shot. It's super easy to use. Right when you're in the camera app, you use portrait mode, and there's a new menu to select the lighting effect you want to use. And this video was shot on an iPhone in 4K. It's amazing. Now you can shoot at 1080p HD, 240 frames a second. And that's augmented reality. This is an incredible area for us to advance in. And our teams have worked together, hardware and software, to make iPhone no, the first camera, the first iPhone really created for augmented reality and the first smartphone designed for it as well. We custom tune each iPhone for augmented reality. The cameras are actually individually calibrated in the factory and that makes a huge difference in the performance for AR. There are new gyroscopes, new accelerometers, and AR kit software is tightly tuned to all this hardware to deliver the best experience for motion tracking. And AR greatly benefits from the new A11 Bionic chip. The CPU handles world tracking. The new Apple GPU renders immersive graphics at up to 60 frames a second. The new ISP does real-time lighting estimation. And this stuff is amazing that it happens on a device in the palm of our hands. Let's talk about wireless. And now with iPhone 8, with its glass back, we're enabling the freedom of wireless charging. Wireless charging with Qi. Now Qi is the leading openness wireless charging standard. But we're really happy to tell you iPhone 8 is gonna start with twice the capacity at 64 gigabytes and have a second one at 256 gigabytes. And the price will be $699. iPhone 8 Plus will have the same two configurations, 64 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes, and it will be priced starting at $799. We'll be able to pre-order them starting this Friday on September 15th, and they'll be available a week later on September 22nd. This is iPhone 10. It is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. It has glass on both the front and the back, using the same super strong formula as iPhone 8. The band is made from a surgical grade stainless steel that's both durable and polishes to a beautiful finish. It's engineered to be water and dust resistant at a microscopic level. It comes in two beautiful finishes, space gray and silver. iPhone 10 has an all new display. It's called the Super Retina display. To start with, the Super Retina display is 5.8 inches on the diagonal. It's got 2436 by 1125 resolution. That's over 2.7 million pixels. It has 458 pixels per inch. Now this is the highest resolution and pixel density ever in an iPhone. The Super Retina display uses OLED technology. In addition, the new Super Retina display supports HDR in both the Dolby Vision and HDR10 formats. It has an incredible a million to one contrast ratio. It has the best color accuracy. It integrates our unique 3D touch technology right into the display. And like iPhone 8, it includes True Tone. How do you unlock your phone with iPhone 10? With iPhone 10, 
Your iPhone is locked until you look at it and it recognizes you. Nothing has ever been simpler, more natural, and effortless. We call this Face ID. We call this the True Depth Camera System. And it is made up of incredible state-of-the-art technology. There's an infrared camera, a flood illuminator, the front side camera, and a dot projector. And that's not all. There's also the proximity sensor, the ambient light sensor, the speaker and microphone, all packed into this True Depth Camera System area. It is amazing. Now, the neural engine is specialized hardware built for a specific set of machine learning algorithms. This is another example of the incredible collaboration between the hardware and software teams that's only possible at Apple. The neural engine is a state-of-the-art ultra-fast processing system. It uses our highest density computing ever. It's a dual-core design. It can perform over 600 billion operations per second, and it's used to the real-time processing of face ID recognition. And emoji. These are animated emojis. These are emojis that you control with your face. And emojis track more than 50 facial muscle movements. They've been meticulously animated to create amazing expressiveness. You just watch this, can't you? <laughs> the way you create and share an emoji are right from within Apple Messages. You said a little late. Where are you? You can pick from a dozen different animated emojis to share and express whatever you want to express to your family and friends. <laughs> iPhone 10 has dual 12, 12 megapixel sensors, with dual cameras, both a faster sensors, wider sensors, just like in iPhone 8. Does new color filters, new deeper pixels. There's an f1.8 aperture on the wide angle camera, and a faster f2.4 aperture on the telephoto. So that lets in 36% more light to the telephoto camera. But the big news on the camera on the iPhone 10 is it has dual optical image stabilization. That means there's OIS on both the wide angle and the telephoto lens. That's a lot of magnets moving around in a very small space, but it helps with compensating for handshake and to take better photos and videos in low light. There's also a better quad LED two-tone flash that is twice the uniformity of light on our subjects. Because now with selfies, you can take portrait mode photos as well. And it also supports portrait lighting all through the front side true depth camera. <laughs> all this performance, I'm sure as you expect, does come with a hit to battery life. So I think it's important to tell you that we've increased it. <laughs> yes, it lasts. Yes. Again, hardware and software teams work really hard to deliver two more hours of all-day battery life to us. And here it is. It's a mat that you push your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 down, and it just starts to charge. We call it air power. iPhone 10 also comes in two configurations, 64 gigs and 256 gigabytes. They'll be priced from $9.99. You can order it starting on October 27th, and it'll begin to ship on November 3rd. So this is the future of the smartphone shipping this year. So this is our lineup for the holidays. Now, every year we say it's a great lineup for the holidays, and it is. But this year is really special. It starts with iPhone SE, iPhone 6S, iPhone 7, the new generation iPhone 8, and the futuristic iPhone 10.